FreePick is the number one all-in-one AI tool that just keeps giving and giving. Whenever there's a new update or a new release, there's a pretty good chance you'll soon see it land in FreePick. Wow, bro, that's insane. And today is another great one, Halo 2.3. And so even though it's a 2.3 update, why exactly does this one matter? Now to start, here are three characteristics where we're gonna see significant improvements. We're gonna have better cinematography with enhanced better cinematic motion better physics, more fluid, and better typography, and then the emotions. We're gonna get better emotional realism. And so today, when it comes to this, I'm also gonna give you an amazing cheat sheet template that you can use to start the process with your prompt generations. I'm not just sharing this prompt template I just showed you, I'll also be sharing and giving you an amazing prompt generator to use, specifically crafted to take advantage of the new and improved features in Halo 2. 2.3. And so if you don't have a subscription yet to free pick, make sure you click the links in the description because I have a link in there that's going to give you an additional large discount. Okay, so before I go ahead and give you that awesome prompt generator, let me show you this cheat sheet template yet again. But this could be a very useful resource to really help you dive in. Now let me give you an example prompt. This is from using this specific template. This actually created a really good looking video. So this is a good example of how your template should look based off the one I'm giving you today. Okay, so now here we are in free pick and I really want to show you how impressive that this update is. Even though it may be considered kind of small, let's go right to it. Let's go to our video generator tool over here in free pick. Once we're in here, you could see up at the very top left hand corner, it's already in here. Minimax Halo 2.3. Now this really excels in cinematic realism. And one of the things I find so impressive about this is really the fluid motion, much better fluid motion and a lot more cinematic. So as a quick example, if I go back, just take a look at very quickly, this close up shot I made right here that I'm hovering over, usually very close up realistic cinematic style images really don't convert that well sometimes. A lot of times it may lose its sense of realism. With this new update, that is certainly not the case. Okay, so let me show you a few of these very quickly and then I'll show you this amazing prompt generator. We're gonna head over here into my prompts portal database. A new category is now in the prompt portal. It's for the most unique AI images ever. Instead of creating a whole new and brand new database. I just went ahead and added a brand new tab category up here. This is gonna generate some of the most crazy, unique, and amazingly realistic AI images, okay? So as a quick example, let's open up something like this one. Now this might get flagged, but I wanna use this one because I have a good comparison to really test this to, okay? I'll download this one. The prompt is quite simple, okay? We can use the prompt to actually use in a video, but we're not going to because remember, we want to follow the template's guidelines and we also want to make sure that we have great prompt adherence. And now that is where the prompt generator I'm giving you today is really going to shine as well. Now, if I go to my AI video ones, this is going to be the one we're using today. We're going to come back to this one in a second. And remember, any prompt I'm sharing today will always be available via the links in the description. So let's come back in here very quickly and now we're going to use a starting image. Now this works well without using a reference image, but I find in most cases it does work a little bit better when using a start image. Still, regardless, it does do a very good job, whatever option you decide to use. Okay. So here's that image I just showed you earlier of that girl against that supercar. Okay. Now, in fact, what I'll probably do on the left-hand side, it's already creating a prompt for me. You could see there it is right here. Let's take a quick look at it and make sure it's going to fit what we need. Now the prompt I just got really isn't going to do that good of a job compared to when I use a template like this. So you can see very quickly back on free pick, you could see where my prompt is going to start with my subject, a stylish young woman. What I found is that when you specifically add the camera shot and motion at the start of your AI video prompt, you're going to get much better fluidity. <laughs> So let me show you a very quick cheat code that's gonna work wonders for you. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire template just like this. With that template now copied, I'm now gonna head over here into ChatGPT. And so here we are right here. Now check out what we're about to do. I'm gonna go back to free pick and I'm gonna bring in this 
prompt right here. Go ahead and copy it. Come back in the chat GPT and say something like this. Take this prompt and restructure it. Rewrite if necessary, you have full control and make it fit the guidelines of this template for proper prompt adherence for AI video creation. So now what I'll say is here's the prompt, okay? Put a colon and now put a space and now paste that prompt in, okay? Shift enter and now say here's the template to follow. There we have that. Now let me go ahead and recopy that template again. All right, there we go. And now I'll paste this in, okay? So now we're gonna have the prompt that FreePick created for us and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to restructure it, also rewrite, but follow the template guidelines for good and better prompt adherence. Let's see what this can come up with. Here's your original concept, and now here is gonna be the final prompt. There it is. Camera shot plus motion, subject description. It's breaking it down right there for me. And look at this below. It also says, would you like me to convert this to a nested JSON format? Okay, let's say yes, just in case, just like that. And see what happens when it gives us a JSON prompt as well. Now, the other thing we can do is, you could say rewrite the prompt in just one long paragraph form, not separating the camera shot, the items in the bracketed text. That will also work well. But now look at this, we get two JSON nested prompts to follow and use. Let's go back now over into free pick. Okay, so one of the problems we might run into is down here at the bottom, it does say prompt has reached the maximum length. Okay, so what we will have to do instead is come back over here in the chat GPT, and I'll just say down here below, rewrite it, but just give it to me in one single paragraph form. Okay, now I have that pasted in, and it does look like I can generate it. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Now, the other cool thing to keep in mind is over here on the left-hand side, if I open this up, I do have specific motion options. I can can choose from just by simply clicking on this. Okay, so while this is being generated, now let me show you this amazing prompt generator. So now what we'll do is head over here into my prompt generators database. And it's actually gonna be this first one right here. It's specifically called Physics Fluidity for Halo 2.3. We're gonna go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like that. Now with the brand new chat opened up, paste in this prompt generator. Now I added a new concept to these. This is gonna be extremely helpful. Without doing anything else, hit that submit button and it's going to ask you two questions first. First, if you already have a subject, go ahead and provide it. However, if you don't have a subject, just simply respond with the letter B and then instantly you're going to get 10 creative subject ideas to inspire cinematic Halo 2.3 videos. Okay, B, just like that. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll instantly now get 10 different unique subjects that I can now choose from, okay? Here we go. We're gonna get these 10 right here that we can choose from. Let's say an artist painting on the giant canvas in the sunlit warehouse lot. I'm just gonna enter in that number five just like that. And now it says, well, which number? So I'll say number five. Let me say that instead. Number five, that way it knows. Okay, there we go. I'll specify the word number. And now just like that, here we go, excellent choice. But then it's gonna ask me some other questions if I do want a specific style or tone. So let's just go with that documentary realism, just like that, okay? And now here we have it, it's gonna give me five prompts to use and to choose from. That's why I love this new concept because we get the opportunity to either give it our own subject and once we do, we'll get five prompts or first provide us with 10 examples we could try for ourselves. I'll go ahead and copy and paste a few of these. Then we're gonna come back and revisit and see how all of these videos turned out. But before we do, this one has been completed. Let's see how this turned out. Pie in the sky, subscribe to Metrics Mule, it's all about AI, yes, I'm an AI, but I think I'm really real, and there's no denying I am, the way that I feel I am. So there you have it, another update by FreePick. Halo 2.3. Make sure you check the links in the description to get the template and also the prompt generator. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules. Channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips. Tons of prompts. Thank you.